are the best T4s in this game, guys. We're taking a look at my roster with my buddy, OMG Trevor. And if you guys are ready for all of that, you know what to do. Let's go pick it. Valley Flyer. What is up, Valley Maniacs? Valley Flyer here. I am back. Welcome to the channel. I am joined by OM Trevor G. How are you doing, brother? I'm a maniac. I'm an OMG Ooh, maniac. Yes, I'm an OMG maniac. I, I'm your number one fan. I okay. watch all of your videos, all of your videos on both channels. And uh, okay. we, we're going to pick a T4 for me today, guys. I, I'll give you some choices. Uh, really? We're going to take a look at our roster. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it today. You, you, Did you, you like my impulsive one in my video where I was just like, yeah, I'm going to do uh, Hella's passive. I was yeah. like, ah, I'm just going to do it. Because <laughs> I, I know you were going to sway me with logic to do some sort of efficient one. I was like, nah, I'm going to use you know Hella what, everywhere. You know what, Might as well just throw it on Hella. It's for fun. Sometimes yeah. logic, you got to throw it out the window and just have fun. So uh, this is where we're at. Look at my roster right here uh 5.4 million is a little uh more than last time strongest team part probably about the same for me i, I gotta focus more on uh, these characters here okay but, uh, so not, i use a similar team in my change. arena i i use uh captain marvel instead of mr sinister but i think mr sinister is amazing yeah i love the double phoenix now the reason i'm using sinister i've built him up a lot i've got lucky red red stars mm -hmm. um but captain marvel is uh deleting ultron on your team so Sure. Well, work good, but yeah, it's this Black Bolt yo-yo uh, combo that we're probably going to talk about uh, because you are kicking some butt in the Ultimate Seven raids. So uh, Black Bolt and yo-yo are the real deal right now. Is specifically yo-yo. It's yo -yo. in yo-yo's yo-yo's kit. We all thought it was like, is this going to be God tier? And then I see the question come up on, not only on Reddit but also on my Twitch streams. It's like. Why is Yo-Yo so hyped? I read the kin, I don't get it. It's like, man, you gotta play it. You she's play it. She, you you the the she's vital for not getting just deleted in some of those U7 nodes. Persistent offense down, boy. What do we got going, it. man? All right. So this, I, I'm working on him because I got lucky with this, the red stars. So my I God. definitely gotta work on him and the rest of my aim. I actually let me pull on my aim because I've gotten lucky with the red stars on this aim. So seven on monstrosity, not so wow. good on scientist supreme, but assaulter has five. Researcher, I don't use researcher, but I got lucky with the uh, the six She's on the researcher. Healed. So she gives all kinds of sustain. It's great. I might have to build her up just for war defense. I'm not sure how I mm -hmm. take out assaulter is very valuable, but I might I might switch it out for. I wish I wish I had more stars on graviton, but that's my aim, and uh, I've been yeah, I've been working on I, I think on the only them. logical choice would be assaulter to take out. A Assaulter and put yeah. in. Uh, Unfortunately, yeah. I got I got five on Assaulter, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, 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 it does make sense. I'll probably end up doing that. So farming right now, Colossus, Psylocke, and Mister Fantastic. Those are my uh, daily farms. Exactly the same. Yeah, I just yeah. I just finished up uh, Falcon, and now so I was oh, doing sweet. four. Now I'm only doing three. Well, I am as well. So uh, hopefully they make good on this promise of adding a lot of uh, characters to be farmable. Uh, yo yo, let's talk about yo yo. Have the okay. basic, have the ultimate, and this is one that, uh, this is a candidate right here. A okay, little, yeah, little so bit of extra damage, but repeating the attack three times instead of two. Yeah, so not only are you getting, uh, you know, going from 150 to 170, but going from two to three attacks, you know, you're going from, you know, 150 times two, which is 300 to 170 times three. So it's a big jump. This is I like this one. This is this is a very possibility. Um, there's I did an, it. There, there's another one that you did that I'm considering as well, and that is this one, the special mm -hmm. for scientist supreme fifth, flipping four negative effects instead of three right now. I didn't do it way back when you told me to because I wasn't getting all these negative effects on my team, but now I am. There is she's not flipping everything because she's only flipping three. So this is one that I'm considering as well. Uh, what well, are your think, thoughts on this Think one? about it like this. I mean, having a stun or a heal block versus that being flipped to something awesome. You know what I mean? Like yes. death proof. So you know what I mean? Or I you know what I mean? It. It, it, it's, it's, it's it, the, the swing between the two and how terrible it is that when you flip the effects and you're stuck with a heal block heal or, I mean, horrible. and then it's, it's a horrible feeling. And uh, I personally 
like to autoplay U7. I'm I'm not one to just like it's too tedious for me. So I, I um, love that you are doing that. You are putting up over four, 40 million damage pretty yeah. much all the time. So pretty much quite a few. I I enjoy U7. Like I really do. Like in we we're going up in a certain lane and we're getting to the node before the final node. We're getting, and that, we're getting that to no that last mini boss, right? Second we're to last node. Close. And we're I I got wiped out on that node. I'm not I don't have a solution that, that, to that node. That, that really, node is hard. hard. Yeah, so I don't know what to do with it yet. I went with uh, my best team, and I, I don't think I even cracked a million damage. And I saw you did like five million. I'm like, what is he doing? My goodness. Yeah, yeah. There's some hard nodes, man. So, yes. but it's 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 almost to the point where it's like, oh, hundred percent could be a thing. Like we're getting close. I like think, if I everybody, think, I think two months, two two months yeah. or so. I think it's gonna be very close. I think we're gonna well, be the, very the, close. The power difference between 13 and 14 is so, yeah. so, I mean, it jumps 20, 30% on most stats. And then the focus and resistance jumps like 50%. So like we just, we're not running 14s yet. I'm running 13s. The only yeah. 14 I have is Phoenix and I'm not running Phoenix in U7, but if I was running full 14s, you know, Ultron, Yo-Yo, yeah. Black Bolt, maybe that's the that's the key to 100%ing uh, Ultimate Seven. I don't know, yeah. but it seems like we're getting we're moving Very past close. 60. You know, we're getting to 70. Maybe we can go further. You know. All right. So this this is a good candidate. I, I know you've done it. You're putting up good numbers. Uh, and then the last one is one that you did a little questionable because of the the rest of your As Guardians. I think I've done mm -hmm. a lot of the. Good ones as guardians. It's uh, it's this one right here. A little bit more max health for her. A little bit more max yeah. health for uh, per as guardian ally. War defense, more damage for the rest of the as guardians. I don't know if it really helps this team totally on defense, but one thing that you mentioned, she is a uh, good standalone character as well, usable outside yeah. of that as guardian team. So. If you're not it's, just thinking about war defense, this this one is worth. It, it seems that I'm using her on every single challenge. You know what I mean to get to that tier 12, and uh, some of those challenges I'm using her in conjunction with Loki. So that means she is going to be getting 10% max health, even on a team that is not all uh, as guardians. Uh, she's going to be getting 5% more health in U7 when I use her there or anywhere else, and then on war. It's going to be, you know, 25%. And then every, the whole entire team is going to get, get 5% damage. Yeah. I, I, you know, you, you're asking me on the, th on the three that you have picked right there. Is that what you're asking me? I think that one, the Loki special was one that I was also considering that uh, you mind control two enemies instead of one. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I think I'm really leaning towards Yo-Yo and Scientist Supreme. Uh, I my suggestion, and you can do whatever you want, would do without a doubt. I'm gonna go, I like 100%. both of these, so whatever you suggest is what I'll do. Scientist uh, Supreme. Scientist I think you'll use Scientist Supreme. Supreme today, All right. All right. Uh, and, and I think that'll help Done. you today in U7. Done. And it'll save you it's cores. Done. It's done. That'll it's save done. you it's cores done. every single day. All like, right. I don't know how often are you getting stuck where you have to spend cores in U7. I mean, I don't anymore. But there, not, there was a not time. So much. You, like once a week, you're just like, what happened? Now Maybe I know I use a lot of raid, the raid health, the refreshes for that. But I, I don't think I have to dip into cores. But uh, this is this is the one. I did this one. Okay. I think Yo-Yo is going to be my next one. Um, yeah, Yo-Yo is fine too, because uh, you 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 use Yo-Yo as much as I do, so yeah. I, I think they're both fine. But I think, uh, and then using the Yo-Yo's, the, um, her special is fine. It's it's good, but it's you know, I don't think it's going to save you any cores, yeah. you know, or anything like that, you know. Oh, you know what? I I probably should have done the Yo-Yo. Now that I think about it, because I also use Yo-Yo in Arena. I don't use Scientist mm -hmm. Supreme, but that that's mm -hmm. gonna be my next one. Mm -hmm. I, I forgot mm -hmm. to mention. I'm also <laughs> I'm also farming Hydra Sniper as well because I need some villains. Uh, I, I, I've pretty much farmed that villain node, so I, I need to wait till March. They add more characters and villains. Uh, mm -hmm. But Hydra rework, Hydra rework. This is one that uh, probably should be on that Red Skull team. So I'm gonna keep building him until uh, okay. the, the I, seven I, stars as well. People are asking me all the time about Hydra. You know, if you want to take your Hydra up to, let's say, like 60 tier nine, go for it. Uh, but why go further though? We don't know anything about where Red Skull or if that's even real. Yeah, I mean, uh, we I don't mean, know I mean, anything. It's, it's real for the non-playable character. Who knows if that's going to be his exact, exact kit when he becomes playable? So yeah, but but you know, but if you're going to go beyond, 
you know, tier nine, level 60 purple mats. Oh boy, man, what if, what if we don't have official word? Data mine in game is just data mine in game. They can change it. They haven't made any public statement. We don't know how Red Skull is going to be released. It looks good. Uh, but why go further than that? Yeah, agreed. Uh, Graviton is someone I'm working on. Now, I know you're not mm. really farming him hard in the war store. No. Because of the red stars on my aim, I think I do need to build him. I think it's sure for that team. So uh, just for the way my roster's kind of been shaped because of these red stars, I, th I think He's I good. do need to farm him. 71's a good level for him too. You get the optimal amount of uh, focus and resistance by yeah. going from 70 to I mean, 71. if I had the gold, I would take him up to 74. I would take that whole aim team up to 74 right now if I had the yeah, gold. Yeah, but 71's the, a good number. Maps. Yeah. Uh, haven't really worked too much on Toad. Haven't really worked too much on Cyclops. I think uh, Toad's value is really going to come when Blob comes. I think those two in conjunction on that full brotherhood team is really well helpful. The, the thing about Cyclops and Toad is that you basically could skip them. If you're going to skip a character, why not skip Cyclops. them? Because yeah. yeah, you already have a team that works. You have a Phoenix yeah. team that works, right? Yeah, you X, have a brotherhood X team that awesome. works. They have, we have teams that work, and for me to get Cyclops or Toad up to some sort of functional level, and for what? I don't know. I don't know how much better they're going to be. Yeah. But so they're they're completely skippable at this point. At this point, I I, I think I definitely want to build Toad up when sure. I get Blob. But Blob's not in the game as we're recording this. So uh, I, I I agree. He, he doesn't add too much to the team without Blob yet. Uh, I just took Phoenix up to gear 14. Wow. Awesome. Awesome yeah, character. Awesome. awesome. Um, it's Phoenix is no joke. Um, that's scary right there. And I, I don't know. And the other thing too is that she's mutant and there's kind of scarcity of uh, good mutants. Like, you know, and there's, there's an abundance of pieces for mutants is what I'm trying to say for going to 14. Mm, yeah. Phoenix is the easy one, probably the easiest character. And then from there, this is my probably next one. This is my uh, next one Mr. Right Sinister yeah. be my number two. Uh, then there's, you know, there's also a uh, Colossus. I think that could be a good one also and then maybe yeah. cyclops but definitely in that order agreed agreed uh, now cyclops for myself i wish i could get more gold stars on him not sure how he's going to become formal yeah. yet i don't have a lot of red stars on him so cyclops is probably someone i'm going to skip at least until i can well, yeah. get get some gold stars on him but sinister not necessary but there's not if I could get that gold star on him, Sinister is someone that I would definitely use my uh, gold promotion credits on because I got, I got lucky with this. Mr. Right Sinister is a no brainer. I, I'm yeah. envious of your 5'5 five five right there. That's great. Uh, the rest of, I, I wish I had your pulls on Black Bolt and Yo Yo. My goodness. <laughs> let's take, yeah, a, look at, let's take a look at Black Bolt because I think he is mm -hmm. uh, one of the MVPs along with Yo Yo, especially for that Ultima 7 raid. And I'm using him every day in the arena as well. So. Uh, did all of the T Force except for his special? I think that is the least valuable. 100 percent extra damage for a single target. Not not sure about that one. Not sure about that one. It's, uh, I, know I, you I have it. One. I use it. It's fine, but yeah, it's not like vital. There's many situations where his basic attack is better uh, because you know, for example, you know, if you're playing with him in uh, in U7 with Scientist Supreme, he's going to be flipping negative effects because. Mm -hmm. Very often, the opposing team is going to have slow, plus he's going to be stripping their positive effects. Uh, and that's really what you want to do. You want to make sure that they do not have offense up. Yeah, and this... you want to make sure that he does not have offense down, you know, himself. So um, it's very rarely are you going to want to do that middle ability anyways. Now, where that middle ability is useful is on autoplay. <laughs> you know, because the AI is going to do it anyways. Maybe, so. maybe down the road then, right? if I'm heavily investing in this character, I, 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 I I'm kind of like you. I like to complete these characters, so uh, maybe this uh, one just for that. But except as far as actual value, I, I, down the road, down the road. Mm -hmm. uh, not too much else just changed for my roster. I did finish uh, Human Torch. 
uh, as far as the farming, I did finish uh, things. So the the last one, the last piece that I need is uh, Invisible Woman's Invent to come around, but uh, really need that Mr. Fantastic uh, to finish mm -hmm. up that uh, Fantastic Four. Uh, not well, too much else. I think that's interesting that Ross, or unless there's anything that you wanted to well, see, let me let me scroll through these guys. I, I would, I would uh, you can definitely take Invisible Woman to seven stars, but uh, she's a character that I feel like I over invested. Uh, not using her like I thought I was going to use her because of Yo-Yo. Yo-Yo yes. uh, Yo -Yo only works without, you know, nobody else on the team can be a protector. protector and yeah. so they can't be on the same team. And I, I, I'm going to choose Yo-Yo all day long over she Invisible Woman. She was one Woman. of the MVPs before Yo-Yo came out. Well, so. it's, it's not, Yo-Yo's, it, Yo-Yo is, uh, it's her synergy with Black Bolt is yeah. is why it, it works. But, yes. you know, as but a this, standalone, this you know. Right here. Yeah. But Invisible Woman versus Yo-Yo. Oh, boy, oh. you can make a good case for both. I mean, they're both yeah. good, right? But but they but are. if you're using Black Bolt, you got to use Yo-Yo, yeah. you know? Yeah, especially with their, their basics in conjunction with each other. Uh, the, the assists from Black Bolt. Clearing yep. positive effects is, uh, you know, and if you get him the red, that's Feeding like three energy. extra hits from one turn. So, yep. yeah, but I, 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 I've invested in her. I don't use her as much as I did, but I don't think I regret any of these at all. You know, I'm no, not using her no, as no, well, no. but I, I don't, and, I, I don't I, regret any of these. And there's enough sustain in U7 uh, between Shuri, Scientist Supreme, and Yo-Yo where Invisible Woman is not really needed. Now, I do use Invisible Woman with uh, Phoenix and Ultron as uh, Shuri and Scientist Supreme on the, the second and third mini boss node. Mm. But other than that, I'm really not using Invisible Woman as much anymore. Pretty much uh, Yo-Yo has completely replaced yeah. her. Now, yeah, I, I think uh, the only time I ever use her is uh, on some of these Greek raids. So I, I still get some use out of these T4s. But uh, if if Yo-Yo dies or my main team dies, she, she's definitely on that second team that... Yeah. Uh, Stuff. So I still get some use out of her. I mean, I'm still getting good use out of her. It's just not, I was just over yeah. the wall in love with her. And now it's kind of uh, lightened a little bit. Uh, Namor, very close there. But uh, mm. I, don't, I don't know if there's too much, uh, too many other interesting things here, unless uh, you see anything in my roster that uh, really well, stands out you, to you. Well, Shield Trooper, we've been talking about Shield Trooper uh, not yes, requiring that's... any mini uniques. Um, he still needs a ton of uh, gold pieces. Like, an, uh, just so many gold pieces are needed to go into Dark Dimension 3. Um, I'm not sure about that anymore any, either. It's like, I, be, being how hard it is to get a character to 14, I want to make sure they're good. Good. Uh, you know, I was wavering on Shield Medic. Now I feel that was a waste and I should have put those resources somewhere else. And Shield Trooper is also in that category. You know, but main thing for me is I want to start Dark Dimension 3. And then from there, I only want to use meta characters. I don't really yeah. want to be throwing random characters in there just to fill the slot when it's going to take me six months to finish it anyways. Yeah, that's that's, that's one way of looking at it. Now, it, you know, he doesn't have those mini uniques. He still needs those normal uniques. So Tons it's, it's not... So it's not like uh, there's there's nothing, you know, is, is you still need to invest a lot to build this character. So mm -hmm. uh, I, I brought him up to tier 12, almost at tier 13. But uh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm not 100% about that gear 14 as well. Um, that, that's any anything else stand out to you? Ultimus, mm. not sure. Mm. Do you think I should yeah, take I don't know. Your seven, roster, seven star of this character? Yeah, you've kind of ignored a lot of the same characters that I have on the bottom of your roster. I think a lot of this game is like that. Yeah. You know, in a lot of ways, you know, the characters that you've not upgraded is probably, you know, I, I'm a little deeper on my low end of my roster than yours, but I don't yeah. think you're, you're not using those characters yeah. anyways. I oh, mean, what I did is, get this pull. Send oh, Sibyl Spider Man. I don't have him unlocked him yet, but, you know months down the road it, it might well, be they, uh, valuable <laughs> they said that they were gonna run the event three times right and so and i don't know what length of time the other you know, they're, they're running the event now right yes and that runs into what march right yeah and then they said it was going to come back two more times they didn't say how long or what it was going to be like they yeah. didn't say it was going to be the same but they said it was going to happen two more times and what they were suggesting is that uh, the total number of shards that you are going to be able to get for free, in theory, is going to be relatively high compared to other events like this. And uh, so, in time, you probably 
you know, have a, a pretty beefy Spider Man. But it's just going to take a long time. Get, how long do you think it's going to take to get that fifth gold star on him to even make use of these uh, red star pull that I got? I don't know if, if you're going to get there but. even by the, <laughs> the third event, but you should have a four star, right? I think so. I think so. Uh, but that's that's it for my roster. That's what I'm doing. Uh, you picked my T4. And um, yeah, yeah, I, I think you're going to be happy one. with I think you're going to be happier with that than I can't uh, wait till we yo -yo run yo right now. seven today. Let's go into my Blitz team real quick and uh, see my save squads. Haven't really run this uh, Wasp Blitz. Uh, but uh, let's let's see. Uh, this team got a lot more powerful. I think this was my third or fourth most powerful team. Mm -hmm. uh, taking Phoenix up, uh, getting some more gold stars, and I, I got yeah, a lucky red star pull on Colossus as well. So and your Psylocke will go to seven someday. Also someday, one of these days. <laughs> yeah, I mean, whenever you're done with that. Uh, BKT pretty much in the mm -hmm. same exact place. Woof. Aim has gotten a lot Woof. stronger because of the stars. Woof. So I've started to work on these characters as well. Yeah, boy, you could put in your five that five star right there and just boost the team power right there. That'll help you. Yeah, see the the weakest link is Graviton, but he. He needs to be on that team. So I wish I, I could just I, throw you, him in for that collection I, power. And, you, see, you're farming him in War Store. I'm not doing that, man. I, I'm not I doing know, it. I know. But, I'm not doing it. But because of these red stars, I feel I have to. So I, I mm. need him. He is the weak link, but he shouldn't be. He's, he's one of the better characters on this yeah, whole team. Yeah, and he's also... Yeah, pound for pound, like if they were all forty five thousand, he still has the lowest HP, like the lowest health pool out of all everyone. He's his raw stats, his damage is good, damage but his raw stats awesome, are actually kind of weak. Yeah, yeah he's, he's probably your your squishiest. Yeah, he, he dies a lot, but Science of Supreme luckily mm -hmm. brings him back to life. So, uh, this is a team that I definitely want to change. I've used this a while. I am thinking of moving Hand Center to a different team because uh, it, I don't know. What, what are you doing with your Ultron right now? I'm running with Marauders, but Marauders. that might change. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Fantastic Four, almost done. Mm. Couple more stars on these characters mm. uh, as far as star level, but uh, definitely could get a little beefier with all of these guys. Mm -hmm. uh, the Shield hasn't changed. Uh, Brotherhood running Carnage Venom. Not sure if I was doing that the last video, but... Uh, well, you're, this you're is, gonna this is gonna change. This is definitely gonna change. Yeah, as soon as I mean, as soon as you get Symbiote Spider-Man up and running, especially you have five red stars, that'll change for sure. Then you'll probably need to run at least with uh, uh Miles. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Wakanda is there. This is gonna change once Ironheart comes out. Uh, this is the this is the question mark right now. Now, right now, I'm using this on War Defense. Where's your Gamora at? What is your Gamora? At? I'm just Gamora surprised that you nowhere. choose Gamora's nowhere. <laughs> Yeah, she's but on um, no what's team. your power level? Right, what's her power level? Uh, let's go back. I don't remember. Because she's, she's, like you got Miles in there, it's like why not Gamora? I would use I would use I, Gamora I, instead of Miles. I like I like Miles's kit better. Okay, the, okay, that's fine. Yeah. Because uh, well, Miles will probably go with uh, Carnage and yeah. Venom and yeah, Symbiote so, Spider Man. Yeah, anyway, Gamora is probably going to go into that team once Symbiote Spider Man gets unlocked. Yeah, I, I, the, the, it, Gamora gets a lot of extra turns, man. There's I, every time I use Gamora, she's uh, she's swiping away at some minions, getting a bonus turn, then she's ultimating for a bonus turn. Uh, she's uh, she. You know you what? Know, Maybe I should just put in Gamora just for the power level because this is mainly you you. Base mm -hmm. your save squads on war. I base it on blitz. So just for that extra yeah. power, that yeah. it might be worth switching up because I, I do a you, lot you'll of auto get an extra, blitzing. You get an extra ten thousand power out of that, right? Yeah. yeah. So over time, that again, that could be a bunch of scores. I and mean, Hume is definitely a team I need to build up. Carnet Crystal far behind the rest of the team. Mm. Uh, of course, these these characters you got to build up. Mm -hmm. uh, and humans, uh, they've gotten a little stronger as well. Um, yeah. What? What else do you say about these characters? They're, they're awesome. Yeah, there's nothing, about, nothing you can say about them. Yeah. Uh, so you great, use great, uh, great. Merc, Lut Merc I Lieutenant there. I don't like there. him there. I like Kingpin, but I got Kingpin on this uh, the, the Asgardian counter that Casino built. But I haven't really got them, them to work properly in war to really counter that Asgardian. Well, so. are you coming up against a 200,000 power uh, Asgardians anyways is the question. Not anymore. I used to. I no. used to. I would, I would try to punch across and it wouldn't work. But I no. nowadays, I don't see that the, that artist Guardian team. So maybe maybe mm. I'll just break this team up, and uh, I don't know what to do with the. the I mean, uh, at this the, point. the thing is, is that's I mean uh, that Creed team is is a cleanup team, you know, or yeah. punch across. I, I, got I don't this know. Creed I'm team. Not... Maybe I'll just combine them all into one Creed team again. So. 
One good I Greek team might maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Sinister Six, I like this team. There's just so many teams that are better. I, I always this is always a tricky team on war defense when I come up against them. So uh, I, I I I underestimate them a lot, thinking I could punch down. And uh if you don't go in with a good team, they they trick me. But I haven't put a lot of resources. Well, they're stripping into them. all your positive effects. Is the trick to that team is that you're, if you're de if you're depending on positive effects, th there's one disappearing every time one of them takes a turn. So mm. that that is that is kind of what's going on is that your your positive effects are just disappearing. Uh, so I like I like using them against like Cree or something like that because Cree has a lot of those defense up and uh, regen and stuff like that. You liking them better on offense and war? I. I I see him on defense and I think that's fine. I use them on offense and I can punch across okay. pretty pretty easily. Uh, this this is actually where Gamora was. I, I had her in this slot. The team worked better, but just for the raw power, I think Gamora is at forty five if I'm remembering correct, mm -hmm. correctly. So I put Night Nurse in just for a little more score for Blitz, but uh, this this is kind of a trash team right now. But that, mm -hmm. that, that's where my safe squads are. Yay. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> any, okay. any any questions on them? I think I think well, they're so you use it for blitz. Standard. So that's yeah, very this, this different. Is, these than are more war. blitz teams than yeah. Because yeah, Colson okay, wouldn't yeah. be on this team in war. Colson no. and Medic are on that shield team in war. No, so. I think you could get use out of. I think your Gamora would give you more points there on your. Uh, yeah, I think, I think you're right. I definitely should put her there. And uh, Miles is gonna be trash until I really get. Uh, hey, but, 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 uh, but doing damage into uh, Spider-Man's uh, defense down with the Gamora is a good day. She she used to be on this team, and then Captain Marvel came and she had to go. So. Well, Captain Marvel's going to make sure that wins pretty much no matter what. So why not have Gamora? Because you're going to get weird teams if because of the power level swing on this that. This is I a think. very weird team in Blitz to face. I, I, I normally I've put in maybe this team, get the matchup for this team, and then use them, but. After I use them, because your Blitz matchups are based on what your team is, and she is so mm -hmm. far above them. If it's the wrong character, I was like, no, you can't fight them. That is a, a very, Marvel. that is a very sexy Captain Marvel right there at eighty-three thousand power. My goodness, yeah, yeah. you should begin. Like you, I hope you ever on defense in war. Please tell this, me you're on defense. This is a defensive team in war. Okay, I, I, I'm not sure about Miles, but this is a defensive team in war. Yeah. Okay, they do good. They do good. Uh, but that is about it, guys. Uh, any anything stand out to you? Any uh, changes that you think I should be doing other than that Gamora switch on save squads? God, it looks looks solid. I really hope you like the the special on Scientist Supreme. I, I think you're gonna get I a lot of benefit out of that. I cannot wait until Ultima Seven today. I, I definitely want to try that out. Um, that's about it, though. Thank you for joining me. Tell everybody Oof. where they can find you, my brother. OMG on YouTube, and we did the same video on my channel, so go check it out. Yeah, check out his roster and all the uh, cool things that he has done. Why he is kicking so much butt in Ultima 7, guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope this yo, was yo. helpful for you. Uh, if you did, if it was, subscribe, share this with your friends, smash on that like button, join the notification squad, and uh, I will see you guys next time. I'm on social media. Check me out there, and um, yeah. Give me a Hulk fist bump. OMG. Yeah, oh, double bump. Valley <laughs> <Bally> fly out. <laughs>